The first step in the application of IFRS 16 is to assess whether a lease exists in the contract on hand. This assessment is done at the inception date of the lease. The inception date of the lease is the earlier of two dates, the date of signing the agreement, or the date of commitment of both the lessor and lessee to the terms and conditions in the contract. Why do we have to make such assessment? The reason is that you can pass by many contracts that do not have the legal form of a lease transaction, where in fact, leases are hidden in these contracts. For example, you can have a one-year contract between a customer and a freight carrier company, to transport customers' goods to some destinations for a fee. Up to this point, the contract is a service contract. However, if you look further into the contract, you might find out that the contract in fact grants the customer an exclusive right to use some specified vehicles during the contract term. In this case, we need to assess whether the use of these vehicles constitutes a lease, and therefore IFRS 16 should be applied. IFRS 16 states that, a contract is, or contains a lease. If the contract conveys the right to control the use of an identified asset, for a period of time, in exchange for consideration. In this section you will learn, how an asset is identified. When the customer has the right to control its use. So, let us proceed to the following lecture.